so much for being here. My name is Tawny Flowers, and I am the Assistant Community Ed Director, and we are so pleased to have you here in our beautiful school. As we Thank you for being here. We are so grateful for this space that's dedicated to early childhood and the investment that this community made for all of our schools and for supporting this renovation to transform this school into this early learning center. Today, we're gonna to dedicate this incredible space to our community and celebrate together. If you're able to, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with the liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome you to this special occasion today. We have a short program this morning, and I'd like to take a moment to introduce a few of the people um, that are in, up front here with me today. We have a few board members in attendance. Director Shogren, and she'll be uh, sharing a few words today. And we also have Director Spear as well. We want to thank all of the school board members for your hard work, your dedication, and your support for early learning. Also, we have Superintendent Lane Larson, Assistant Superintendent Heidi Hahn, Assistant Director of Early Childhood Special Ed, Julie Domino, our ECFE PTO president, Kayla Pickle, will share a few words. We have many PTO members and community ed advisory council members here today as well, and I'd like to take a moment to thank them. We have our mayor of Baxter, Daryl Olson, here with us today. Thank you so much for your support. We also have a special song today that will be performed for our pre-K plus child care students. You will hear many, many thank yous today, and that's because it takes a lot of people working together to create a beautiful space that this, that's welcoming and safe and meets the needs of our young students and their families. Before I invite Director Shogren up, I'd like to say a thank you to Anne Marie Locker, our community ed director, as well as our previous director, Corey Reynolds, for all your support. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to take a moment to recognize so many of our early childhood educators and support staff here today, many who sat through many planning and design sessions to create the spaces that you'll see today. A thank you to our core design team and the whole staff who truly kicked off this year with all the new learning and all the logistics of being in a new building while keeping their primary focus on supporting the learning of their students during a very challenging year. Thank you to all of you for your dedication in early ch and dedication to our early childhood families. Can we give them a hand? To think back to the dreaming sessions we had that we put on paper to the groundbreaking and all of the architects, ICS, Verado Brothers, and so many other contractors. And those are all listed on the back of your program today. And the work that has gone into this space right here is truly incredible and we are truly grateful. I'd like to now invite Director Shogren up to say a few words. Good morning, everyone. This is a beautiful space. I'm gonna talk mostly to you guys down here because this is your building, right? Is this where you get to come to school a few days a week? Are you guys three years old, four years old? Three, four, and five? Awesome, awesome. Is it okay if I ditch this thing and just come and sit down and talk to you guys for a minute? Is that okay? I wanna show you something, so I'll use my mom voice so everyone else can hear. But I want to show you, so you get to come to this awesome building to learn every day, right? Or a few days a week, I should say. So in two years, or three years, or four years, do you know what the next step is? <laughs> yes, it is. So believe it or not, this shirt is 13 years old. Does anybody know what this shirt is? No. You will get one of these at the end of kindergarten. 
shirt. So I just wanted to, to tell you a couple exciting things you have coming up because you're our littlest warriors in our schools, right? And then you're going to grow up and be big and tall warriors someday and go to our elementary school and our middle school and our high school, right? And do you know that all of those buildings are also shiny and fresh and new like this one? Yes, yeah, so the whole time you guys go to school, you're going to have these awesome new buildings because our community cared so much about you and your learning that they wanted you to have really awesome spaces to learn and the whole way through when you go to school. So two or maybe three years from now for some of you, you're going to get one of these t-shirts. Okay, parents, let me tell you a little secret and hold on to it because I have a senior at home right now waiting to go to school and wear this shirt to school today when I bring it back. So they will want to wear it their senior year, so don't, you can't let go of it. you got to keep it in a special place. And then, oh, this what? one might make me have tears in my eyes a little bit. Do you know what this is? Has anybody seen anybody wear this for something called graduation? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So that's even further. That's like 14 or 15 years away for you guys. But parents, it'll go really fast. And pretty soon, these, you, you small warriors are going to be our big, tall warriors. And you're going to come marching down the hill at the high school. You're going to graduate from high school someday. Can you believe that? You're going to wear one of these in a gown. And I want you to think back to this time when you got to start school as our littlest warriors in this awesome new space that our community gave you. Isn't that pretty fun to think about? Yeah. You're probably just thinking about what you're going to do later today, won't you? <laughs> but I'm telling you, parents, it won't be long, and you guys will be wearing one of these, and then you'll be wearing one of these. So I just wanted to come and say a quick congratulations on your new school and, and tell you about all the exciting things that are coming up for you as you grow up, okay? Have an awesome day. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're going to have our pre-K plus child care stand up. They've been practicing a special song for us. So if you want to stand up, you can turn around. Can you turn around and look at all the friends behind you? the mother of two young children, an educator, and our UCMP PTO president. I'd like to thank everyone involved um, in making this Warrior Early Learning Center possible. I know it took a lot of time and commitment to transform this building into what it is today. 
When I moved here about six years ago, I was able to get involved in ECFB, and I was able to meet lots of parents and children that I'm still friends with today. Those relationships were very important to me, and they still are. As a mother and a former elementary school teacher, I know the importance of early education in a child's life. Having a welcoming and child-friendly space to go to, to learn and grow as a family, is such a wonderful thing we have here. This facility is exactly what our little warriors need to be successful in starting their education. So again, I want to say thank you for all of your support. Everyone, how are you today? You're such a great audience. You're singing so nice and your, your song, it just was the best. Thank you so much. I'm Lee Morrison, the superintendent of the school. Do you, do, do you guys know what the superintendent is? It's kind of like Ms. Flowers. I got a job really a lot like Ms. Flowers. So do you see her busy, busy around school? That's what I get to do too. But today, it's really an honor as the superintendent, I get to come and help to lead the dedication of this beautiful Warrior Early Learning Center for our youngers for the Brainerd Public School District. Today's dedication is our community's commitment to invest in its children. Our, and in this building in particular, our youngest children in the school district. Today, I get to do two really fun things. One is I get to introduce um, Ms. Flowers and Ms. Domino to come forward, and they are going to unveil the bronze plaque that's going to be hung in the entryway of the Warrior Early Learning Center. And this plaque will be here for the duration of the Brainerd Public School District and this building in particular. And so at this time, I'm going to call Julie Domino and Tani Flowers forward and I want all of our littlest warriors to look at this beautiful sign that we get to dedicate. about how different this building looks than it did just two years ago and you wouldn't even guess that you're in the same building. The dedication though that we are having today, we get to recognize thousands of people who have made this dedication a reality. Starting with the Board of Education and again I thank uh, Director Shogren and Director Spear for being here today. But I also want to recognize Ruth Nelson, Charles Blacklands, Kevin Boyles, and Tom Hagelin. And I see Sue Kern in the audience, and she's a, a past board member. Um, please stand and be recognized so everybody can see what you're doing. Meetings 
and the hours and hours of round table in my office. It was Aaron and Steve Lund and Corey Reynolds and myself. And um, I just remember the camaraderie that we developed during that time to bring forth a referendum on April 10th, 2018. And so the time that we spent is forever precious to me and it, it means the world to have you here. Thank you for coming and for making this a reality and doing your work. I also want to thank the teachers and all of the paraprofessionals, all of the staff at the Warrior Early Learning Center and Brainerd Public Schools. I know that you've lived in a lot of mess, you've had a lot of chaos. We still have more to come because we're going to be filling this building next year when we empty out the Washington Educational Services building for construction. But your time, your commitment, and your dedication and giving the foundation to these little warriors is impeccable. Thank you. Please give them a round of applause. As I look in front of me, I, I see these beautiful children. And as you've heard me talk many times, these are our why. They're the right side of our why why we do what we do every day and it's to provide that foundation so that these kids can grow up and graduate like you were saying and to someday live their passion because of the foundation that they got with Brainerd Public Schools. I also want to take the time today to thank some major partners in this process and Mayor Olson it's a privilege to have you John Ward, thank you for being here, Councilman, and Brad Chipolis. Will you guys stand? We spend hours, hours together. Oh, yeah. hours and hours with the city of Baxter between the Baxter Elementary Project and the Warrior Early Learning Project, um, Jas building Jasper Wood, um, doing the renovations that we did at Forest View Middle School. And I can tell you that every single minute that we spent with the Baxter City Council was a privilege for me. Thank you for being genuine partners in this process. We're here today because of that commitment. Thank you. recognize many of our uh, contractors and the people that made th this project a reality. I begin with ICS, our program and construction management team, and in the audience today I see Damian Williams and Justin Moninga, and they made this a reality, so they brought it to fruition, so give them a hand. I see Val Peterson with Wold Architecture. Thank you very much for being here. I see Erica Markison and Brady Bussler. Thank you for being here. Also, I recognize CMTA, Anderson Brothers, Broadway Brothers, and everyone who has made this a reality. But none of it would have happened. None of it would have, would have happened if we didn't have supportive parents and a supportive community who went to the polls on April 10th, 2018 to say yes for our children to say yes for our future. And with that, I thank everyone for being partners in this process and for making it happen. So thank you to our parents, thank you to our community. And so, now let's do the real dedication, shall we? Shall we get down to business? All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut the ribbon. Cutting of the ribbon is the final step in dedicating our Warrior Early Learning Center to the Brainerd Public School District. At this time, I'm going to invite the entire board and all of the speakers and all of the special guests forward. And we are going to have Kayla Pickle and her daughter, Taya, cut the ribbon today.
how exciting. Thank you for participating in this very special day today. We have uh, warrior bracelets. Many of you got them, but if you haven't gotten one yet, uh, we have bracelets available um, over at the table. Those were donated by ICS. Can we say thank you? have a fruit snack option for you and that was donated by our ECFU PTO so feel free to grab bracelets and fruit snacks if you'd like and please um, stick around we have the big gym the little gym and then our far green playground available to play on if you'd like we also can provide tours for those who haven't been through the building you can look around yourself um, or you can find a staff person and we'll be glad to walk you around we do have a few classes in session right now, so if you could please respect not going into those rooms for the tour, but feel free to roam around and, and look around, okay? Thank you again for celebrating this school year with us and our official dedication of the Warrior Early Learning Center. Thank you, everybody. That concludes our ceremony. Thank you.